So now let us continue with the shear capacity of the hub. Okay. So the non-dimensional slenderness ratio. That is lambda W is equal to root under F I W divided by root three into gamma tau C R. So F I value we know that 250 newton per mm squared divided by root 3 into tau C R value 34.394. So root under 250 by root 3 into 34.394. So it becomes 2.048. Okay. So if it is, what is the condition that we are going to check it right now? So lambda W is there are three criteria less than or equal to 0.8 between 0.8 to 1.2 and greater than 1.2. So greater than 1.2 means tau B value we have to calculate. That is F I W divided by uh, root 3 into gamma w the whole square okay that formula we are going to use so lambda w is greater than 1.2 therefore tau b is equal to okay uh, f i w divided by root 3 into lambda w square this is the formula so f i value is 250 root 3 into 2.048 so it becomes 34.41 so newton per mm square this is the value of tau b therefore stress that is shear capacity of shear capacity of web VCR is equal to area of web multiplied with tau b. So area of web depth of web into thickness of web multiplied with tau b. So 2000 into 10 into tau b value is 34.41. So it becomes 688.2 kilo newton. Okay. So VCR is equal to 688.2 kilo newton, which is less than our shear force developed due to load. That is 1908 kilo newton. Hence, we are in need of stiffeners so this is the conclusion with respect to our shear capacity okay so if transverse stiffeners are required to improve the buckling capacity of the girder capacity of the girder or web okay so this is nothing but the end bearing and the intermediate stiffness then only it will be safe to transfer the here and buckling okay so next step step seven okay end panel design end panel design so already said that this is our uh, section so in between the section we are going to have our 
stiffness. This is end bearing stiffness. And in the middle, we are going to place the intermediate stiffness. Okay. So first end panel design. This is our end panel. These two are the end panel. So from page number 62. Page number 62. So here, this is our end panel. Okay. So this one we have to design from class 8.5.3. So here. Okay. So this one we are going to use to have our uh, end panel design. Okay. So why means mm, the panel have some adjoining forces uh, from the reaction. Okay. Now, so those things we have to, what is the force we can have right now? So whether the section is safe to transfer that uh, shear and buckling, okay, now that we are going to discuss right now. So this is the formula. Uh, so HQ, the resultant longitudinal shear RTF and the moment MTF from the anchor of tension field forces are evaluated as given below. RTF is equal to HQ divided by 2 and the MTF is equal to HQ into D divided by 10. So M is nothing but moment, R is nothing but the shear, okay? Uh, whereas HQ is equal to 1.25 into VP into 1 minus VCR divided by VP. Whereas VP is equal to D into T into FI by root 3. Whereas D is equal to uh, web depth, okay? So these things we are going to calculate. Then after uh, we should go for the checking. Okay. So from page number 62, okay, class 8.5.3. Okay. The longitudinal here. HQ is equal to 1.25 into VP into 1 minus VCR divided by VC power 0.5. Whereas VP, that is plastic shear, VP is equal to, they have given that DT into F by W divided by root 3. So section depth. 2000 into 100 into 250 divided by root 3. Then it becomes 2886.75 so, two, two kilo newton. Okay. Then VCR. So we already calculated the value of VCR is equal to 688.2 kilonewton. So 688.2 kilonewton from previous step. Okay. Therefore, HQ is equal to 1.25 into 2886.75 into 1 minus. 688.2 divided by 2886.2 power point. 1.25 into 2886.75 into 1 minus 688.2 divided by 2886.75 power point. So thousand eight hundred and 
46. So HQ value becomes three thousand one hundred and forty nine kilonewton. Therefore, resultant longitudinal shear RTF is equal to HQ divided by two. Two thousand three and four nine divided by two. So one seven five seven four point five kilometer. Similarly, MTF MTF is equal to HQ D divided by ten. into D value is 2000 divided by 10. So it becomes 629.8 kilonewton meter. This is MTF value. So now we have to go for check for this resultant here and check for this moment. Okay. Check for Shelton here. So define shear strength. VD VD should be greater than RTF means safe. Okay, so this is condition. So RTF we got the value, VD we have to get it. So area of web multiplied with FI divided by root 3 into gamma m naught. This is the formula. So area of web, so 2000 into 10 into F5 value is 250 divided by root 3 into 1.10. So it becomes so it becomes 2624 2624.32 kilonewton. So this is our value of VD. So it should be greater than our RTF. So RTF value is uh, 1574.5. 1574.5 kilometer. So hence safe to transfer the longitudinal shear. by the web plate so this is first next one is with respect to moment okay check for moment capacity check for moment capacity of end panel okay so from class that is already we have calculated that MTF is equal to 629.8 629.8 kilonewton meter. If it is uh, less than MQ, then it is safe. The end panel is safe. So if we have to calculate MQ is what? So MQ is nothing but from bending stress equation. You can see the theory of simple bending equation. M by I is equal to F by Y. Okay. 
whereas m is equal to i by y into f f is nothing but here f y and we are having some factor of f it is gamma m so this is our formula so i by y into f y by gamma m so i value we have to calculate okay so So spacing between the panel is two thousand six hundred and sixty-six point six seven mm. So our thickness of web is so thickness of web is ten mm. So by using this, we are going to calculate the value of i. Okay. So B D cube by twelve formula. So ten into two thousand six hundred and sixty six point six seven cube divided by twelve. So I am going to use this. One point five eight into ten to the power ten. M on power four. Then y value is nothing but this two thousand six hundred and sixty six point six seven divided by two. Thousand three hundred and thirty three point three five. Ah, three three four. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, for we know that two fifty newton per m on square. And the gamma m naught is equal to one point one zero. So if I'm going to substitute this, m q value becomes so one point five eight into ten to the power ten into two fifty divided by y value into gamma m naught. So I'm going to substitute this. I can get two thousand six hundred and ninety-three point one six kilonewton meter. So this M Q is greater than our M T F. Hence, the wood plate are sorry. Hence, the end panel is safe in moment. Carrying capacity. Okay. So now uh, end panel is nothing but uh, so this is our end panel. So these two are end bearing stiffener. so now we we have calculated whether the end panel is safe or not to transfer the shear and the bending moment okay uh, next we should move on to end bearing stiffener design and the intermediate stiffener design okay that we will continue in the next class thank you all